Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this angular video tutorial we will learn about the style binding. So why we have to use the style binding, how we can do it and we will see it everything with an example, right? But first of all, let's check out the points of this video. So we will see what is the difference between normal style and style binding, how we can add the dynamic binding, how we can change the style on a button click and how we can add the conditional style also, right? So now let's get started with the first point. What is the difference between normal style and style binding? So style binding is basically belong to the angular, even normal style belong to the basically CSS, right? And uh, normal style is not much more dynamic. We cannot use uh, simply when we just want to change the color on a button click or we just want to add some style on conditionally basis and all, right? But style binding have the power of uh, easily doing the performance on condition basis, dynamically style and all, right? So now let's see uh, the, all these things with the example. First of all, I'm just going to jump on app.component.html and I am just going to write here a h1 tag here and it has some text like uh, heading one and something like, right? And I just want to add a normal style first of all and it have color can be like, uh, red right okay red and now you can see that this is uh, pretty simple and how I can use the dynamic uh, sorry how I can use the style binding for that you just have to remove this one and just write here binding syntax style dot color and you can just put any color like uh, red uh, in a string right so that's why I just use the double quotes and single quotes and the both have the same thing. I can just change it like green. This is again great. And uh, I can also use some other properties like background color. Right now uh, H1 have the background green color. Great. So these are the normal things like how I can add the dynamic binding down dynamic binding means dynamic style binding means uh, I will just get some color property from the TS file and I will just show it here, right? So now I am just going to, uh, let's change it with the color so that it will be a little bit semantic. And here again, color, but the, this color should be come from the app.component.ts file. That's why I just define a property with the color and just put a color like yellow or something like uh, golden is much better and here just put here color property right and this color property is belong to the that one great and now you can see that um, mm, 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 this is not changed let me check why uh, maybe just uh, it's not supporting golden color or something so just put here yellow for a moment and uh, you can see that we got the yellow one right and uh, let's say now everything is great. So let's try to change some other one like orange. Right, orange color. Then uh, this is also working great. So now let's say I have a button and on the button click, I just want to change it orange to blue, right? So just define a button here. Just right here. Uh, update color or something right and let's make a click event like this okay and uh, let's call a function on this one right update color right and it have a normal function and now let's define this function here like this and just update the color here like this dot color can be blue or something right and now let's come back here we have a button click on it now you can see that on a click it will change here right try again that's great so now let's the last case uh, how I can put the color uh, conditionally so let's say I have a property 
with the name of ERR and uh, it have a true value right that means uh, there is some error and on the error I just want to show the red color right so I just make it conditional thing like so that we can just identify this conditional uh, what's wrong with it conditional style or something yep oh my bad okay and now uh, let's say if error is true then show a red color else show green color right and now error have a true that's why it should be uh, red right and it should be inside the string also so now you can see that we have a red color here right and again on this time I just want to make uh, this dot error is now false on it right and uh, again whenever I'm just going to click on it now the color should be green because uh, this property uh, now error property has false statement right and we can also do one thing uh, we can just make it toggle also right so just write here this dot error that means if uh, the error have the true then it will be false and if this is the false then it can be true on every click right now you can see that we have a toggling the colors right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care